Today, we're diving deep into the world of modern methods of construction. Join our head of construction, Kevin Roberts, and our contract manager, Matthew Harbert, as we take you inside Locale's cutting edge 56,000 square foot factory, where they can produce around 1,000 timber frame homes a year. So we'll head down there and we'll take a look. How many workers do you actually have on the floor? Uh, in terms of our resources, um, it's, it's not an over-resourced um, process. We have around about 26 operatives in the factory at the moment. Uh, majority of those are permanent, employed by local homes. Um, we've also got the ability then to bring in uh, extra labour, extra labour as and when. And you can see there's other raw materials that we store inside the OSB. Yeah. Um, any of the firm cell fireboard insulation, everything is kept under. The cover uh, right. under, yeah. undercover, so it's not exposed to elements. It's, 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 it's key in it, keeping everything to dry. It's, it is. It's, 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 that's, it's, that's the issue we have on site mainly. Is this is the first stage of the process. This is where we're actually cutting the timber. Uh, all the uh, CAD uh, information, the cutting list has been sent to the saw. So he feeds that through, then that goes into the job racks. Once it's cut, it's labelled, it goes into the job racks. But as you said, this is fed from the DWGs now, is it? Yeah, DWGs, yeah, so it will be fed direct from the, the design office into that as part of our design process. So this is the really clever part now. And uh, this is sort of... This is where you need nest the nails. This is where all the nails, are, yeah, uses a lot of nails. All the designs of the nails, uh, the centres, want to be the nails, are all calculated again. It's automated, computerised, it's programmed into the machine. So we'll take you up to the very end, and we'll be forcing up now to see the start of a panel being made. So these panels are fed, where you've got a series of stoppers and rams. So what we do, the rams will come down, to spread all the, the panels to the horizontal. It nails it when it was right. Yep. Uh, we've got a nailing gun on, on the ends to do the studs and that will basically fire the nails into there. We've got the jig as well to keep it all square. It's, it's critical that we get everything square and we also do constant checks as we're going down the panel. The ram will come down, that's the, the, stop, the stopper. That's exactly where that timber's going to go. That's been programmed. That timber's going to go in the exact position. Well, the take of this is the design that's working too on you. That's right. That's what's actually ready to fire. So it'll go through that process as that's going on to the next one, and I'll repeat that process. So that's going to be one full panel? I'll be one full panel. Uh, and what's the length of that then? That'll be approximately nine metres, this particular one, yeah. So again, we can design the panel to such conditions. Um, obviously, the larger the panel, less yeah. lifts, um, less storage on things like that. So we can lift it, one operation. On the same frame maker, then, we'll actually put the OSB, which is the external OSB. Um, if there's a fire requirement, uh, a fire risk assessment, that'll be a further cell board or fire board. The OSB boards have been cut ready for this particular panel, so they'll lay that on top of this frame. They'll square it up, manually nail it with a nail gun from the starting point, set it out. And then the nailing gun then will be for the timber members. Similar principle, whether it's the external or the internal. Clever. It's simple, isn't it? I love it. Got to clear all this panel being made by one person, basically. Yep. Yeah. So you imagine on a traditional construction, yeah. you love the bricklaying gang, the weather. It's actually manufactured in a warm, dry environment. Typically, you know, I've said he's working by himself here now. That would do average the duration it would take him just to create this full panel. I know he's working quickly for it now, but... Uh, for this particular panel, it'd probably be around about... just the frame itself, yeah. probably 25 to 30 minutes. The full panel, 9 meter panel, then it'll be a quick... Once he starts the OSB, that'll be a fairly quick process as well. Going back to your numbers again, and what, what do you average a day then, did you say, on the uh, paneling, on, on, on making the... The, uh, the average panel a day would be around about 15 pounds, about. Again, depends on the, 
what the length of the panel, what the build-up is, because there's different stages, so you might have an open panel, no insulation, you might have a fully closed panel, so there's a... But typically just the frame, anyway. Yeah, an open, open frame, frame yeah. 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 It's a simple, isn't it? Yes. One person you've got, yeah. So yeah, it's a, a one-person operation, so to when they're handling the processing material onto the machine ready. And it's, like I say, it's fully automated. It's, it's probably 50% through the process now, and that's the 10 minutes. So looking at that then, how does that now get from there to here? Right, what we do, these are on rails. Oh, so this is on Break, so this table will come right up to this right, table, thanks. and literally on rollers, that panel will just roll onto this table. So that's the next working uh, stage of the process. So what that'll do now, that panel will go onto that one. We've got the hydraulic system on both of these table. So that'll simply yep. flip it over. So it'll basically, again, no manual handling. Sort of a sandwich, is it? Sandwich to flip. You can literally go to that. It's in, it's in, yeah. So we've got the, uh, the stopper, so the panel will rest. So when you take it into a good state, it's still safe, and that one comes to it and literally takes it off the other one. That'll go down then, the reverse of what's been done earlier, and this is where we put the insulation in. Uh, we have a mastered uh, an automated system, so basically they can cut the mineral wool. Most of that is used in terms of the triangular table. Uh, Again, so we can take less, less yeah. weight. Less weight again, yeah. The way you're looking on the site environment, you send, yeah. cut it, put it in, it's thrown into a chip. Good thing about using that, it could be used anywhere, it's squashed yeah. in. Because it's a flexible insulation, we can, what we normally do, we put it in piles and then we put it onto the second line, ready to use a smaller rocker. So, from you. With that insulation, um, because it's a flexible uh, insulation, We'll put an internal membrane, the, the green UCL, which is basically the Obsidian membrane, a staple, and now hold that in position and protect it. Depending on the, the contact, it's either a standard panel with insulation with traditional construction on the outside, it would be a block and render or a significant brick. If it's a traditional brick or block and render, that'll get stacked in a horizontal position because also there's no external faces uh, on the panel. So then I'll get bound and stacked with the skids and I'll be ready to be loaded onto the engine. So that's, that's the end of that process. So it'll be like party wall, uh, etched in a wall with traditional construction. So that's your six metre panel, is it? Nine, is it? Close to the eight, nine metres, I would have thought. Yes, big one, are they? Eight and a half, nine metres, yeah. So that, and the nine's the biggest you do, in sense, yeah? Uh, we can go a little bit bigger. The table's about 12 metres. Talking about a moat farm development, down to three metre panels, eh? Again, moat farm, I was only talking about that yesterday. We can go to the other side of the scale. When you've got difficult sites, we can design, provided we get uh, all the design criteria and the scope of works at an early stage, then Lee and his team, the design team, can say, right, the tight restrictions on site. If we did have smaller, lighter panels, then we'll design accordingly. So we can go to the other. Uh, like I said, and, and, and so we've got to be on site to see the restrictions at the time. When site conditions. Yeah. And that's why we like to get involved early on, particularly that project Moat Farm. We did site access check quite a while back now. So we, we could see that there was going to be potential issues. And, that, and that's, if you approach the project overall and say, right, yeah, we could see the design and get the product but it's actual, are we going to build it? So that's where we'd be keen to be involved at that early stage. Mm -hmm. On this particular one, we're doing the window and door reveals. So you see, I've got a couple of methods going on here now. Then, so you've got the, um, got the brick effect plus the RD plant. Yeah, so at this stage though, we, we've got the finishing line. So we can either turn off left and go direct to site from the load of material, or we've got the final stage where we're applying new external finishes such as cladding, uh, render board, and the touch system. It's a manual system, yeah. but you're not going to get any older rain, temperature. Controlled environment, isn't it? Yeah. Controlled environment. Controlled environment. Um, 
And again, it's accurate. It's a factory in the new uh, product. They've already put the scratch coat on, but it's slightly important that obviously like there's no quick lane, it's level. So you can see they've got the laser levels. Yeah. The rock will be now, they'll obviously uh, apply the first coat, then there'll be a mesh, then they'll apply the acid effusive coat. We see you've got the horizontal vertical lasers taken out, so they'll they'll do that every nine night in the night courses as they move it along. I guess it's more like a tailing trade, this side of it, isn't it? Yeah. So you're not relying on a, a skilled film labor, it's semi skilled. Um, pays, you know, you're also tailing, if I get off the trade. So it would be more of a, a tailing process than a brick lane process. So for this typical panel end, what do you think what the average duration is to actually plug the actual system? Just one panel? What's uh, it? Nine one panel, they probably do that in a day season. It's quite tempted to use a day. Pointed and finished. Yeah. Uh, what they'll do, they'll do a seat. They'll either do it on the brick slip or they'll do brick slip and a bit of pointing. So you see on there, they're doing a bit of both. You start there, yeah. So it depends on what's coming behind it, not getting funded it. That's the one of these a typical standard sheet, quite light. So you can feel the 20 bricks. So if you imagine carrying 20 bricks. You can carry 20 bricks there. Yeah. <laughs> Mad coolness. So again, very lightweight. That's having a really positive effect on your foundation design. So it's a much lighter with timber being a lighter product. I, I'm still surprised mine with the weight, but yeah, like I said, it, it is out of a lot like that. Corners as well. Yeah. Pretty strong corners. Yeah, we've got specials, which will go around corners. Uh, on the ends of the panels and the corners, they're reinforced with a bead. You can see the reinforcement. It's any impact on that corner. So they can get cut to the size of the reveal as well, yeah. Again, you can cut the brick to suit better she is there's a slight bit of flex on it they do snap but you've got that flexibility so i see it's applied the pointing now and you just like a traditional pointing tool uh, pointed tool you'll cut that in and you'll point that as a traditional with effect and obviously you can color match as well then yeah yep yeah, um obviously 12, 12 standard colors for the brick itself um the architect will normally specify the, the more the color so We'll make sure that we liaise it with white sheen, what the colour of the mortar is to match. And we've got the text in two different textures of the brick as well. To so the end trained eye, you, you just wouldn't know, but would you? For the trained eye, um, a lot of people that come in and say it's too perfect, which is a compliment I look. Um, but that goes to show the traditional construction and factory engineered construction. The tolerances and the accuracy are different. Well, I'm sure they, like I said, they would rather work in a controlled environment. You know what I mean? If those brick layers said they've got to start to come in here to do their work, they'd be more than happy, wouldn't they? Absolutely. Yeah, they're rained off days. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and especially when they're looking at now, you know, November, end of November, December, January, February. So good. There's basically three months a quarter, which could have. Um, and, and that's just in those months you get the odd week here and there through the summer, didn't and you? you still yeah, can't. for whatever reasons, so you know, you add that factor on as well, weather, temperature and rain. Four months a year for bricklayers, externally he's gone. So just like um, the traditional point in. That's not, they don't traditional point like that on site, let me no, tell no. you. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 it's, a fight, it's a fight now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. on site they're just going for it, don't they? It's yeah. it, it too wet, so I uh, try to be uh, careful, yeah. To make it dry, then it's more easier to yeah. make it nicer. Yeah, that's just a thinner brick, it's just a little bit more careless than we think. You just wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> it's uh, in fairness, this wouldn't yeah. know. <laughs> when, we start, when we stand back, like you say, you're looking at it, just. Yeah, for this panel, it's less than it's on. Less yeah. than Look, Yeah, so it was this about four and a half meter panel, this, isn't it? Four and a half. Yeah, it's about four, four, four point two or something. Yeah. And under the ten. Easy room. Controlled, see? No scaffolding, there's no fucking about, is there? We're going back to the system now then, no? Said 
like we work on multi-story semis things like that so when you have compartment walls do you actually can you fit the actual uh fire barriers at the back here as well yeah so you can do all that right here this particular project can start window and door showing so these are the aluminium yeah so we've got one on cut in one on fixing yeah it's literally it's a simple as yes. things a lot of long resources to it and i like the, the cut in as well because there's no um Mechanical saws just say through if it's pure dust, and then some of the other things here, cleaning you know, and bleeders, and how to say so. Simple, isn't it? They start, yeah. Like you said, they're not really bending the wheel, are they? No, we're just bringing it into the factory and boy, they on for more. The quality is second to none. And when you go, that's that's quite a simple process. I'll go, go back to the first question, and I said the bubble pan, I'll take in 20 minutes. So, Full process back to you then for a finished product. So it's two or three days to keep there. Probably need just doing about two or four days as they need. To a finished element like that, yeah. 